Yeah, definitely missed that. You can see the marks of the... Oh. NHG-112. Alright. We're running away. We're definitely faster than him. In the long run, I think. Oh, yeah, but we, we cannot survive that. <laughs> we just cannot survive that. Well, we are a Russian plane after all, I see, so we, we did survive that. Alright, got that guy, so we got our revenge. There's one more in the air. Two minutes of fuel left only. I think we will go back to the airfield this time. Hello there and welcome back to the channel, this is your host Koval here and today we're going to talk about the BT-7M tank. At first, let's start with the, the information that the BT-7 tank was based of course on the BT-5 series as an upgrade and from cool stuff they were able to move without the tracks, just on wheels. But we are not covering the BT-7 tank history today, today we are talking about the M version, which means of course modernized. Also, keep in mind that BT means fast tank in Russia. So the fast tank got even faster and it was a final evolution of the BT tank series overall. Uh, there were four prototypes first with the diesel engines uh, called BT-8s, but uh, Russians decided to just keep the name of the BT-7 and at modernized at the end they took notes from the BT-8 series and implemented them to the BT-7M version. And it basically has just a modified V12 diesel engine that was based on a Hispano Suiza V12 aircraft engine. So we, we basically have a V12 aircraft engine in this BT-7. In the long test the modernized version showed much higher endurance and overall range uh, from the previous BT-7 tanks and well the previous BT-7 engines. Uh, and production lines were set to produce the M version since 1939. And the production run was basically ended around, uh, I think, mid-1941, with around 790 tanks produced of the M uh, version. And then the factories were moved farther east, and since then, well, the T-34 came and took its place in the production lines. And that's basically it. And from the history point of view, I think that's all. We're not going to go in super details, of course. But from the game perspective, we just have a BT-7 with a beefier engine. It's a little bit heavier, I think, as compared to Quick. This is a 13.7 ton tank. And yeah, th this guy is just a little bit heavier, like 400 kilos. But we have well more horsepower here. 100 horsepower more. So it's pretty, pretty fast. And if I were to describe this tank... It as anything, uh, or to compare this tank to anything that's in-game already, I would call it a Russian M22 tank, actually. Well, it's a little bit bigger, like, but it's at the same time slimmer and just longer, so there's that. We have three crew members, just like in the normal BT-7. We have the 20k 45mm cannon, just like in the BT-7. It's basically a BT-7 that's a little bit heavier, but just as I said, with a more powerful engine. So we're going to have some fun with this guy today. We'll see what the extra speed will give us. And if we will be lucky, we'll move to the... Uh, when we'll die. Well, then, I mean, it's not so lucky. But if we will die, we're going to take the luck 311 with us into the battlefield. We will drop, we'll be able to drop some bombs and then we'll just focus on the guns and maybe killing some guys from the top. Because this guy has a... 20 mil here that has an armored targets belt that can pen 25 mils of armor and on 2.0 you can actually pen a lot of tanks from the top but we also have the uh, russian 50 cal here uh, the berezin i think it's called and it almost has the same penetration as the 20 mil so we have two guns that can pen almost the same amount of armor so it's pretty nice so, without further ado, let's jump to the first round and let's just try to have some fun with the BT-7M. That was a fast tank that just got even faster now. Welcome to Tunisia, by the way. 
We're moving between Alpha and Bravo point. So yeah, we're just here to take a proper position first. Oh, that, that boy just showed me his sight. But I don't even need his sight to kill him. Stop panicking, mate. Alright, I need to go lower. Front plate? Yeah. Alright, that was just my Pepe guy aim. Sorry for that. We can be so bold, even, that we'll move in here. And just wait for them to move in, I guess. But I don't think there's a lot of people here. Alright. How far is that? A thousand meter shot. Alright. We can try to do that. We actually did hit him. Holy shit. What do you imagine that? A thousand meters shot at this battery rating. Feels good, man. Alright, there's a guy on my right side. I just need to... I'm not willing to rush their spawn over there. And I am going to... Bravo. Like, our guys got this at Alpha. There's a lot of our guys here, so... I will just... Zoom out. Alright, we're taking Bravo. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Just heard that engine there. Oh, never mind. He's dead. That was nice. It's actually scary to be here. Yeah, we have a lot of incoming guys. One there and one over there. Alright, that was a nice push, guys. Oh, that bomb pushed me and my shot made it in a well one one hit kill, right? <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen, to be honest. Yeah, we lost Alpha, but I want to move to Charlie. Oh. Yes, 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 on my way to help you guys. Just a moment. Alright, this guy first. Let's just MG this guy, yep. And the guy below that guy is dead. Alright. That was a nice clean. I just need to turn left. And go forward now. Forward. Yes, thank you. Oh, yes, I just saw that guy. Holy shit, his camo really works. That's a pretty decent camo there. Oh, did I really missed him like that. There we go. I hit for nothing. Alright. Ah, too low. My mistake. Like this? No, that's too high. 300, right? We just bounced that, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't bounce that one. Let's back off. Have to pick our fights a little bit better this time. There's a lot of them incoming. Oh. 
Even there? I don't have time for that now. Sorry. I won't have a clear shot on this guy. I might try. I actually did have. Oh! Someone just missed me. Alright, seen you. How far is that? I need to know the distance because I'm pegging a lot of shots. 300. There we go. Oh, my reload is really bad now. Oh my god. Front plate. Front plate. There's a Spanzer 3 somewhere over here yet and we're losing Bravo. That's not cool. He just realized that something is wrong here. Not the crit. Oh, come on. I want to be cool and do it from the third person. On fire. He's going to kill me now, isn't he? Well, he had a chance. But he didn't do it. Oh, there's a guy. Or even two of them. Holy shit. Oh, this guy knows I'm here. Oh my god. That was a direct hit from the artillery. It damaged my engine pretty badly. <laughs> Wait. Got scared there for a second. On my left side, there's a tank incoming. They really know exactly behind which rock I'm standing right now. There's a lot of guys incoming. Really scared now. Oh, there's a plane from the left side. All right. Yeah, I knew that this guy is not going to be patient enough. Oh! I thought he's not going to see me here. Alright, 11 kills, I did my best. Now we can play a little bit with this guy. You see, the moment I was dead actually was the moment I stayed behind that rock for way too long and then I was surrounded by like what three or four tanks even at some point so yeah that was that was my mistake big mistake right let's drop bombs on this guy did I miss now perfect hit and now we have to use the 20 mil from the top to maybe get some hits. Alright. This guy is out. That went pretty well. A lot of guys are angry at me right now. That's perfectly understandable. Oh! I did not... Uh... <laughs> I thought he was out of ammo. I don't think there's a reason to respawn one more time. Well, we did our best <laughs> in this round. We did our best, boys. We did our best. Has proven to be stronger. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now we will be spayed at fully, I think. Right? I did a lot of kills with that thing. Yeah, we still don't have the artillery support, but that's alright. Let's go one more time. Welcome to Poland, by the way, we're next to the Bravo Point. We just started and I have a proper place for us to be in here. I think... Oh, missed that! 
I did miss that. Holy shit. Oh, come on, man. Yep. Thank you. Where is the other guy? Oh, he's just there. Uh, hello. Yep. Alright, so that was my plan for the start of the match. Now I don't know what to do, to be honest with you guys. Maybe just snipe these guys? Oh, that didn't went. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, that guy is not moving anywhere. Tough luck. Oh, come on, just explode the ammo, guy. Come on. Just explode the ammo. Thank you. We have one more guy incoming here, I think. Well, not really. Not anymore. Wait, is that guy alive? Nah. -huh. Oh, wait. That's like around this, right? Oh, he's dead. There's an incoming guy. Oh, that was actually scary. Oh, I see you, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's try this. Thank you for this perfect bug there, game. It's really nice. Ah, oh, almost the engine, almost in the... Come on, give me the engine. Come on! <laughs> we almost did it, boys. Oh, there we go. That's like that, yeah, yeah. There we go. Charlie's not being taken anymore. Is this, is this guy still there? Nah, he moved. Like this, nah, come on. Oh, I missed that. That was a non pen. That was a non pen. Come on, game. <laughs> that was a non pen hit. All right. Well, we already did a lot of kills in the first round with the BT7, right? So I just want to have some fun with the with the lag tree. No idea what is that. I think some kind of a Panzer tree or something. Let's just drop some bombs here and uh, just go away. Nah, just a hit. I even missed that. Yeah, I didn't see him through the smoke. Yeah, definitely missed that. You can see the marks of the... Oh. AG-112. Alright. We're running away. We're definitely faster than him in the long run, I think. Oh, yeah, but we, we cannot survive that. <laughs> we just cannot survive that. Well, we are a Russian plane after all, I see, so we, we did survive that. We're losing a lot of fuel really fast. So it's sealing, but it's leaking, but it's sealing, but it's leaking. We have just a couple of seconds of flight here. Yeah, that's a critical hit on him. Dude, you forgot that I'm a Russian plane. <laughs> you just forgot that I'm a Russian plane and I can I can extinguish a fire like that pretty easily. But we are absolutely unflyable at this point. I just wanted to play a little bit more with this plane, god damn it. Alright, got that guy, so we got our revenge. There's one more in the air. Two minutes of fuel left only. 
I think we will go back to the airfield this time. Yeah, we are leaking stuff pretty bad. <laughs> That's some Russian bias right over there, guys. You can put out the fire like that, then you just turn around and kill the guy that puts you on fire in the first place. <laughs> hey, but we are still leaking fuel. And we are almost there. We should make it. Yeah, we made it. God damn it, I just cannot shoot any tanks with this. There's always someone interrupting me. Alright, now now watch this bullshit. Watch this. And we'll be back in action in 16 seconds. <laughs> okay, we are rearmed, refueled and repaired. They are taking Bravo right now. I'm not going to get uh, involved in Bravo because I want this match to last a little bit longer so I can use this this plane a little bit more, right? As they took Bravo, now we can get involved. The bad part is I don't see any movement on Bravo. I saw a gun blast over there a moment ago, but I just don't see the... Oh, I think I see the tank right now. He's right there, isn't he? Oh yeah, that's even a critical hit. I don't need to use the bombs on him, but I just want to. <laughs> Alright, any tanks on the open field? No? Sad. I can pen that from the side. I just did. And again, I'm getting hit by the end here. Holy shit! Yeah, that was close. I don't think that was anti-air actually. Oh no, this guy is just going to burn, I think. I just finished him. Ah, oh, that didn't work that well. Can I pen this guy? Oh, that's a dead guy. <laughs> Never mind. TBD just bombed this guy, I hope. Yeah, but missed. Alright, that A13 just burned to death. That's some critical hits on this guy. Alright. One more critical hit and the guy is out. But I'm running out of ammo slowly. Oh no, I hear a plane in... Oh, that's even like two planes. Do you got him this time? No. Alright, he's on fire. I think I hear a Stuka. Yeah, that's a Stuka. Just a little pepper spray. There we go. Panzer crew destroyed. And you still have ammo to fight the planes there. Oh, this is the end of the round anyway. Let's just let's just spray him. Oh, that didn't connect. The 20 mils didn't connect. There's only one thing to do now. Oh, why, dude? Let me ram you. <laughs> Come on. Come over here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> that was fun, man. <laughs> that was fun. All right. So I think we're going to end on this note that I just f finally fully spayed at this guy. So as you see in the first round, is an absolute beast on the second round. Well, we did well, but my decision making made us, well, die pretty quickly. But then we had some fun with the LAC 311. And that's a pretty good plane on 2.0. I would absolutely recommend it to, to, that, uh, to that lineup. Like, there's not a lot of planes on 2.0 that uh, give you that much fun in ground pounding. As you see, most of the time, the Panzer II is untouchable from, from well from the air but with this 20 mils and the, and this uh, 50 cal here the russian 50 cal the badass in ubi we could actually pen that guy and and kill him so that was that was pretty pretty nasty but all right that's all from me thank you all for watching i hope you had a good time i definitely did and as always have a nice day cheers <laughs>